The future of planet Earth may be uncertain, but the importance of informing children and younger generations has never been as important as it is today. The game covers three main areas, recycling, renewable energy and saving endangered animals. Players go around the board collecting funds for their chosen area of sustainability. The game holds one to six players and the players take it in turns to go around the board in a clockwise motion. Players are required to pick what cause they would like to raise funds for on their first roll. Each time that you pass save, you collect £5,000. To set up the game, the counters will be on the save square. The three teams will have a whiteboard and a pen in order to record their ingoing and outgoing money. After the first child rolls the dice, they will decide what cause they will be raising money for. The players will then move around the board, answering questions in order to earn money for their game. Landing on a bonus card gives you the opportunity to win the specified amount of money if you can get the question right. Where do snow leopards live? Is it China, Russia, Brazil or Italy? Brazil. It's not, it's China. Did you know that 60% of the world's snow leopards live in China and the rest live in the chilly areas of Central Asia? Landing on a roll again means that you roll the dice again. Oh, a good luck space. There has been an increase in members joining natural habitats and animal safety organisations. Please collect £7,000. By landing on one of the bad luck spots results in you having to pay a fine. 6,000 acres of rainforest have been destroyed. Please pay £9,000. Players must reach a target amount in order to win. The target amount is specified to the amount of players in each team. For example, if Team 1 has two players, their target amount is £500,000. If Team 2 has only one person, their target amount is £2,500. The players that reach their target amount first are the winners. The team record their amount on the whiteboards given. Mathematics. With the players dealing with money, they are recognising place value in four digit numbers. And with the adding and taking away, the players are dealing with a thousand more and less of a number. Science. Players will come across questions that will require them to think about animal classification and grouping. The game also references a variety of different climates, environments and how animals adapt. Geography. Players will be posed with questions that require them to think about the future and how their human processes will affect the planet. The game, will, the game also refers to different areas of the world, with both human and physical features. Other geographical links include contextual knowledge of globally significant places both terrestrial and marine. Children will also make use of geographical vocabulary throughout the game. The Future Is In Your Hands is an educational and fun way from children from nine to learn about all of the different areas of sustainability.